So this here is a 747 passenger airplane. And let's say that it's taking off from the runway and it's got all four of its engines active and each engine is producing 250,000 newtons of thrust. So we have four forces. One, two, three, four. There is some air resistance, which we can label as F air. And even though air resistance increases when the plane gets faster and faster, we're going to simplify it and just say it's a constant 100,000 newtons of air resistance. And that's a backward force. It's, it's the air particles pushing against this plane, trying to slow it down. And let's also say that the force of friction between the wheels and the ground is also equal to 100,000 newtons. So if we wanted to calculate the net force here, what do we have? Well, first let's establish that this is our positive direction and to the left will be our negative direction. So we have four times 250,000, which is one million. So a million newtons pushing forward minus two times 100,000. So minus 200,000 gives us a net force of 800,000 newtons. So our net force came out as a positive answer, which means the overall net force is in the forward direction, the positive direction. So what that means is all six of these forces could be replaced with a single force that's equal to 800,000 newtons, and that is equivalent to all of this.